All right, what is going on guys? So in today's video, I want to show you guys what you would do if you were to purchase a brand new MacBook like you see in front of you right now, and you have an existing MacBook and you wanna transfer data here into your new MacBook. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you wanna do is obviously open up your MacBook and have it boot up. And I'm gonna have it here on the right hand side to signify that this is the new one and by the way this is the m2 macbook pro and i will just set my macbook air here which is the data i want to be transferred over into this macbook um, onto the left hand side so this is the screen you want to look out for it's called migration assistant and it's saying how do you want to transfer your information so if you want to start brand new for this macbook just click not now, but if you want to transfer data over from another MacBook that you've been using for many years onto this new one, you want to click from Mac, the first option. So it says connect to a AC power in order to do this. So um, you don't have to do it, but it's just saying that if you have low battery, as you can see here, I'm on a full charge. So the thing you have to keep in mind is you have to be on the same wireless network in order for this to work. So I'm going to switch over to my guest Wi-Fi here. All right, now that both machines are on the same Wi-Fi network on your older MacBook, I want you to open up Spotlight or just open up your application applications and type in Migration Assistant. And then you wanna hit continue. And then I'm just gonna type in my password here. I'm not gonna do this in front of you guys. I'm gonna skip over this part. All right, so I've opened up Migration Assistant and what's gonna happen is it's gonna log you out and close out all your applications. I'm actually going to plug in my laptop here because I am running on relatively low battery and I don't want my computer to die during the transfer. So I'm going to select this bottom option here that says to another Mac. All right, give it a second. And as you can see here on my MacBook that I want to transfer over to, my MacBook Air is showing. So I'm going to select that option, hit continue. Then it's just gonna be some verification codes. You wanna make sure they're the same. So 002335. So there are two things you can do during this process here. You can wait for macOS to completely calculate all the files that it wants to transfer. And this will basically give you an idea of how much data you are pulling from your older Mac to your newer one in terms of size. Or if you just want to do a full transfer, you can just go ahead and hit continue and you don't have to wait for the calculation. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do because I just want to take all the data from here to the new one. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue. So it's telling me to set a password and this password is going to be different from this computer, from my older MacBook. So it doesn't have to be one-to-one. -one. All right, and now it is transferring the data. So as you can see here on the new MacBook that was purchased, it's saying preparing to transfer user documents and it's saying from MacBook Air, which is on my left-hand side, to this Mac. And the connection is through peer-to-peer. -peer. All right, so one thing I wanna show you guys if you wanna make this process faster is right now this is connected through Wi-Fi, so it's peer-to-peer. -peer. So this is definitely the most convenient way if you don't wanna deal with cables, but it's not the fastest way. If you want the fastest way, what you can do is you can grab your cable from your MacBook that you recently got. It should come with a USB-C cable that's white. Um, I just have a USB cable that I have lying around. Um, what you can do is connect it to both of them. All right, now you can see that the connection is Thunderbolt. And if I click on connection details, um, the sample rate is much faster. Definitely, if you want this to go as fast as possible, please, 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 please use the USB-C cable that comes with your MacBook and connect them both together. If your older MacBook does not have a USB-C port, um, you can always get an adapter or you connect. You can also connect it through a, an ethernet as well. So as you can see here, it's still looking at all the files that it wants to transfer. I'm basically at a quarter of a million. Don't know if it's gonna go any higher, but I'm just going to let this MacBook sit here um, and let them do their thing. All right, this is actually pretty funny here. So it's saying that there is not enough space on this drive to transfer all my data. Um, so I'm actually gonna go back 
and I'm going to deselect a few things here. So I don't really clean out my downloads folder as much as I should, but I'm just going to clear out my downloads folder because I don't really need it um, for this MacBook here. So now it's going to do another synchronization between the two devices and the migration should get started here. All right, so the migration is finally complete. As you can see here on my older MacBook, it said that it quit unexpectedly, but on the newer MacBook here, I can go ahead and unplug this. It says that the migration is complete and it's waiting to do a restart. I'm just gonna allow it to do the restart automatically because for some people, they might just leave the MacBooks transferring overnight and then they wake up, then the transfer is complete. But if I were to go over back to my old MacBook here, hit okay i should be prompted to log back into my account all right so do keep in mind that the password that you used is not the exact same as the one on your older macbook it's the one that you set during the migration so gonna go ahead and type this in all right so now it's going to show you additional prompts on setting up your newer macbook after the file stuff is transferred over so you're going to go ahead and continue through these prompts so the wallpapers so the wallpapers are the same but this one's not moving so let me go ahead and just type in dynamic which is one of the applications that I got transferred over. And as you can see now, loaded up my settings and now it is moving. All right, so I know the color difference is a little bit weird. I can go to the settings right here, um, go to my displays and I'll turn off the night shift because that's the reason why. And you'll see that now the colors are pretty much identical. This one's a little bit brighter because the 500 nits. Um, but that's not the crux of this video. All right, guys, so this is pretty much how you transfer data over from an older Mac to a newer one, whether you want to do wireless or wired. Um, like I said before, just please make sure you are on Mac OS Sierra or higher on the older MacBook and the newer MacBook. It's obviously, obviously going to be on a um, Mac OS that you can transfer over to. Um, so with that being said, guys, if you run into any issues, please, please let me know down in the comments below. I'll see if I can help out as much as possible or, or answer any questions. And as always, guys, much love. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to like. And don't forget to comment. And now I'm out.